Shane, now that the dust has settled on uh, 2018, how do you reflect on last year? It was a year of progress for the Galway footballers, wasn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. Looking back, I suppose the National League was very good for us. Like, you know, we made good progress there, and you know, it was great to get into the league final. Like, it was the first time I'd say Galway were in the league final, and I don't know how long. So, it was great to have that experience. And then, I suppose, the championship then took a life of its own. Um, you know, the Connacht final so it was uh, great to get that back again because Connacht is so competitive like with Ross Common and Mayo both in Division 1 at the moment as well so it's just going to make it even more competitive again this year and you know, hopefully we can try and build on it like you know, it's, I suppose we still have a young team there you have lads there in their early 20s there and some of them their first time in an All-Ireland semi-final along with ourselves and you know, it's just great to get that experience and hopefully build on it What's the target this year for Galway because I presume it's silverware again Well I suppose every, every team wants to wants to win silverware. Like uh, target at the moment, I suppose is just getting out, get it out of the blocks in the first league game. Like because we know ourselves that we were probably favourites to go down last year, and Joe you know, we're probably going to be in the mix again because everyone say we were one one trick wonder. So you know for us it's just about getting the results against Cavan and seeing where it gets us because the year last year, I said it just went from beating Tyrone the first game and, and like no one was to predict that was going to happen last year. But look, it's it's trying to be competitive, like get getting back into a Connacht final again and. To see who we get there and try, try and retain that. And you know, we're always trying to progress. We're always trying to catch up with the other teams, the likes of Dublin, the Kerrys, the Tyrones. Like so, I, I I couldn't say we have a realistic target at the moment, but it's just I suppose hitting the ground running in the first league game. Uh, you mentioned Dublin. You had two big games against them last year. I'd say you learned a lot from that. Um, how far away do you think you are from getting to Dublin's level? Because they are obviously the market leaders. Yeah, no, they definitely are. I suppose like we 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 had a couple of good tussles with them last year and. Look, they're, they're the games you want. Like they're the games you have to be playing. And like we, for years there, we were we were kind of in Division Two, playing uh, teams around our level. Like and Joe, you know, we were never going to catch up to Dublin by not playing them. So it was great to get that experience last year. Get to play, see what they're about, and see how good they actually are up, up in front of you as well. Like so, and that's where we want to get to. Joe, you know, as regards how far we are from them, like. There is, there is still a gap there. Like, there's no doubt about. It. Like, I think we're, there's still a gap probably even between us and some of the teams around us, like the Tyrone and that. You know, as regards their their structures and the, the, what they've had in place. You know, the last ten or twelve years. Like, we're we're only catching up since Kevin's came in. You know, we, we've been getting things going, and you know, we are making great progress. And who knows where it can bring us to.